Another, it's a big week for you guys. Today's the first day of Severe Weather Awareness Week. WCBI, we're partnering with the National Weather Service to help highlight severe weather that's regularly, that regularly impacts us here. Yep, well, today's topic is severe thunderstorms, and a severe thunderstorm brings large hail greater than the size of quarters, damaging winds in excess of 58 miles per hour, and can also produce frequent lightning and flash flooding. A severe thunderstorm does not have to be producing a tornado for it to still cause significant damage and be dangerous to you and your property. A lot of people think that, oh, just because it's a severe thunderstorm and it's not a tornado warning, I'm going to be okay. But severe thunderstorms regularly produce wind gusts which are capable of toppling trees onto homes like we've had recently. Or, you know, just people driving down the road can be blown over if they're in high-profile vehicles with those kind of wind gusts. And so it really does pose a dangerous situation, uh, you know, whenever we're looking at a severe thunderstorm coming through an area. Well, tonight on WCBI News at 6, we'll speak with a local couple who was sleeping when a severe, severe thunderstorm toppled a tree into their bedroom. We'll also hear more about severe thunderstorms, what you need to do to stay weather aware now that severe weather season is upon us. It's here. It is. All right. Thanks, Amanda. WCBI severe weather safety tips are brought to you by Lee's Storm Shelters and Caldwell Banker West Realty Company.